Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about the role of regular intake of probiotics for the patients who are suffering from PGBI or IBS. DGBI. DGBI that is disorder of gut brain interaction very commonly and very popularly known as IBS that is irritable bowel syndrome. So this IBS is basically a digestive problem wherein the inner lining of your stomach and your intestine becomes very very sensitive. Also there is a malfunctioning in its normal movement which leads to a variety of symptoms further leading to a poor dietary intake and poor quality of life. Although this disease is not so critical and the reports comes quite normal most of the times, but still this disease is very difficult to tackle and in some cases the patient may require years to come out of it. So apart from proper evaluation and proper medication, diet plays a major part in the treatment of IBS. So for such patients who are suffering from IBS, the major aspect of their diet is probiotics. The reason being the root cause of this problem lies in gut dysbiosis, that is unhealthy changes in your gut flora, that is the bacteria which are there in the inner lining of your intestine. So uh, this gut dysbiosis happens over a long period of time because of multiple reasons. Some of the common reasons for this uh, gut dysbiosis or IBS can be uh, frequent consumption of processed food, chemicals, colors and preservative based diet, pesticides in the diet, over consumption of junk food, frequent usage of antacids and antibiotics, and apart from this, one of the major reasons for IBS can also be frequent intestinal infection. As I have already said earlier that this dysbiosis or unhealthy changes happens gradually over a period of time due to unhealthy dietary habits or poor quality of life, the improvement will also take time once you incorporate probiotic based diet on a regular basis. So to have a probiotic rich diet is an important aspect in the treatment of IBS and this will significantly help in long term to have stable control over the symptoms. So uh, to have probiotic based diet uh, will not only uh, reduce your requirement of medication, will not only reduce your doctor's consultation but gradually that will also help you to improve your nutrition level as well as improve your quality of life. But having said this, diet and uh, probiotic are not at all the substitute of medication and on its own they are less likely to have control over the symptoms of IBS completely, especially when the treatment has just started. So the point is that you should work on improving your diet along with the medications prescribed by your doctor so that you can have better relief in the symptoms along with the medication and incorporating probiotic rich diet will gradually help you to stop your medications faster and to have a better relief in your symptoms once the medications are stopped. Over here, I would like to emphasize that uh, probiotic products that are commercially available like uh, probiotic tablets, probiotic drinks, probiotic yogurts, all these products are a temporary relief solution and this will not help to improve your gut bacteria on a permanent basis. So in order to have a lasting solution to this gut dysbiosis, and hence the IBS problems, uh, you should incorporate natural and healthy source of variety of probiotic on a regular basis. And yes, again, not to forget to reduce the consumption of processed food, junk food, and overuse of antacids and antibiotics. I hope this will help. 
and I also know that we are leaving you with only half of the information but soon we will upload another video on how to improve the probiotic content in your diet with some common food options that are rich in probiotic. If you have any concerns regarding IBS treatment, you can contact us and we would be very happy to help you and guide you.